everybody it's your man fit man and today i'm gonna give you three ways to prepare to sprint now if you know me then you know i love to sprint sprinting is the greatest full body move that one can do we're talking about building bigger and stronger legs we're talking about destroying body fat we're talking about building muscle we're talking about developing mental toughness this is what sprinting will allow you to do now, when I was 18, 19 years old, I didn't care about getting warmed up. I thought it was a complete waste of time. But in my early 20s, I started to see that getting warmed up led to better performances and it led to less injuries. That is the importance of getting warm. Now, in my 30s, oh, I believe 100% in the power of a proper warm up. You just can't come out and start sprinting full speed. You just can't come out here doing your best Usain Bolt impersonation. That's going to lead you to uh, pull that hammy and end up in the ER. And me personally, I don't want to see you with that, uh, uh, that pulled hamstring. I want to see you healthy and I want to see you strong. There are three keys that are going to help you prepare to sprint that are going to reduce the risk of injury. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is a general sprinter's warm up. You're going to run through sprinter drills, drills that sprinters have used for years to prepare their body to get ready to sprint. These drills help you get warmed up. They help you with coordination, balance, and just getting the movements of sprinting down. They're very great drills. They're not hard to learn. They're gonna feel a little weird at first, but over time, they're gonna become like second nature to you. The second thing you'll do is a specific sprint warm-up. So this will include you running sprints at about 60 to 70% of your maximum speed, again, to Prepare your body for what you're about to do. Again, you're not gonna get your sprints warmed up by doing the bench press. You're gonna get your sprints warmed up by performing sprints. And the third thing that you'll do to prepare yourself is if you're not comfortable on a flat track, this is when you want to start off by running hill sprints. Now, you run the hill sprint, the hill sprints are harder than the flat sprints, but the hill sprints will not allow you to reach full speed, which will not allow you to get injured so we've got three options here i'm going to go through all of them in the video hope you enjoy it let's get into it right now
Performing these methods will reduce your injury risk dramatically. And when you're not thinking about getting hurt, when you're not thinking about what's gonna happen, this is gonna allow you to sprint and really take advantage of the greatest exercise that you can 